In this quick tutorial, let's talk about setting up our Avid project. If you're new to Avid and you've been using Final Cut Pro and Premiere, the Avid setup is a little bit different. What we need to do first is to decide what our resolution and our frame rate is going to be. So I'm going to click on New Project right here. And once we open the New Project window, you can see right here, this is the list of our formats. I'm going to choose 1080p at 29.97 because that's the source footage that I have to demo with for our tutorial today. Now, your footage might be in a different format. If you're the DP or you're hiring the camera person and you're the editor, then you probably want to tell them how to set their camera up. A lot of times people forget to check the menu in their camera and they're not really sure what the resolution is. I'm going to go with the 1080p 29.97. And I want to make sure that my raster dimension is 1920 by 1080. And I'm going to click OK. Now, notice that I didn't really give that project a name. It's just called New Project. So if I don't like the name, guess what? I get to start over. New Project. There we go. So I'll call this Avid Setup Demo. So notice that I have two projects now in my list. So where are my projects being saved? Well, if you look right here, this is the file path. Folder is going to start with Users, Shared, Avid Media Composer, Shared Avid Projects. If I click on this folder, it'll take me to where our projects are actually saved. If we stretch this window out, let's take a look at the file path. So you can see Users, Shared, Avid Media Composer, Shared Avid Projects, and here are my projects. Okay, so now I will make sure that my latest one is selected, Avid Setup Demo. I'm going to click OK. Let's go ahead and launch the Avid for the first time. Okay, great. We're now inside Avid Media Composer. Notice how our bin is highlighted with the project name. That's because it wants us to go ahead and name our bin. I'm going to call this Video Clips. See the asterisk right here next to the name on the bin? That's telling us that we haven't saved yet. So on a Mac, I'm going to hold down Command and press S or Control S on Windows. Great. So now we've saved our first bin. Now we might want to create more bins. So notice that we can click here on the Fast menu and I can choose New Bin. We might want a bin for our audio. And we might also want a new bin for our graphics. Just really depends on the project. Now as I close out of each bin, it will actually automatically save that bin. That's the cool thing about Avid versus some of the other editing programs. Okay, great. So now in our next tutorial, we will talk about importing clips into the Avid.